On today's episode of Star Wars Battle Breakdown, we take a look at Natasi Dalla's attack on Mon Cala. In 11 ABY, having survived both the Thrawn Crisis and the Dark Empire campaign, Admiral Akbar was disgraced after having crashed a Buing carrying Princess Leia during a diplomatic mission. His home planet of Mon Cala, sometimes also known as Mon Calamari, or Dak, had been totally devastated by the Emperor's world devastators. So, after the incident, he returned home to help rebuild. As this was happening, Imperial Admiral Natasi Dalla, formerly of the Ma installation, was using her three remaining Star Destroyers, the Basilisk, Gorgon, and Manticore, to conduct raids on New Republic targets. Kicking off the battle itself was a visit to Mon Calamari by New Republic Head of State, Leia Organa Solo. Leia, while attempting to convince Akbar to return turned to active service, ended up discovering a secret Imperial probe droid hidden deep in the planet's ocean. The droid self-activated, presumably scanned the planet and its surroundings, and transmitted a signal to the Empire. Dull received the data and saw both that the planet was still recovering from the attack by Palpatine a year ago, and now building ships again for the New Republic. She knew that rebel forces were likely spread thin throughout the galaxy, and that a quick raid could be both successful and devastating. As Dalla's fleet appeared in orbit, a flight of B-Wings, as well as some mid-sized cruisers, moved to protect the valuable shipyards. However, the Star Destroyers defied expectations, immediately launching fighters which conducted ground raids on Mon Cal cities. Although the cities around the planet did have some defenses, they were fairly overwhelmed. By this point, Akbar and Leia have returned to the planet's surface, and the Admiral took control of planetary defense forces. He recognizes almost immediately, and I quote, that it's a trap. Dahl was using one of Tarkin's old strategies, something clear to Akbar, who had been a servant under the Grand Moff for some time. So far, only two of Dalla's three Star Destroyers were engaged in the actual fighting. The third Star Destroyer, Akbar guessed, was hidden behind Dak's moon, which for some reason had no sensor equipment and was essentially a blind spot. The Empire's main target was indeed the shipyard. Their plan was to lure the defending forces away with the two Star Destroyers, then have the third come in with little to no resistance. However, rather than defusing the trap and keeping the cruisers around the shipyard, Akbar springs it. He pulls all ships away, making it appear as if he's fallen for the ruse. While doing this, he takes control of the Star Tide, one of the first new vessels being constructed by the Mon Calamari, after spending the past year or so trying to recover from Palpatine's attack. As the Manticore moved from behind the planet Moon for its triumphant run at the shipyards, the Star Tide powered up, remotely controlled by Akbar. Akbar oriented the vessel for ramming and disabled all failsafes on the hyperdrive reactor, essentially turning the ship into a powder keg. Although the Manticore fired all of its batteries in protest, the Mon Cal ship crashed into the Star Destroyer, erupting in an explosion which tore both cruisers apart. Dalla, with the tide of battle now turned and surely aware that New Republic reinforcements were en route, was forced to retreat. All in all, this is an interesting battle, although it does raise some questions. First of all, why was Mon Calamari not more well protected? Perhaps any real ground-based defenses and the shield generator were destroyed in the prior attack by the Empire, but I still wonder why there wasn't a more significant fleet. As to find the parallels between Akbar's actions here and those of Holdo in The Last Jedi fairly interesting. But what do you think? Could Akbar have reasonably identified the trap from everything presented to him? Was it right to risk the shipyards when he had no real proof that the Empire was using Tarkin's maneuver? Let me know all of that and more down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this has been Eckhart Slaughter. May the Force be with you.